In this tutorial, we will learn how to create, how to use fastening feature lip and groove and create a stabilized connection between two bodies. Here we will create lip and groove. Groove in the bottom part. Just show me. Groove in bottom part and lip on other part with the help of lip and groove feature. So let's see how to do this. Now see this is a kind of mobile case. Let's see section view. Now here I want to create a connection between these two bodies with the help of lip and groove and create a, uh, we will cut a groove and add a lip on other part. Now let's activate, go to insert fastening feature. Here we have too many fastening features for plastic parts. Now go down and here activate lip and groove. Now, now I want to apply cut groove on the bottom part and apply lip on upper part. So first here you have to select the body component which create groove. So I am going to select the bottom. See the bottom one is selected. Now select the upper part which going to create lip. So I am going to select top one. If okay. Now here we have to select the edge or uh, we have to choose the direction of cut or uh, direction for feature. So I am going to select here top plane. Now look one part upper part is hidden lower is visible. Now groove selection. First we have to select the plane from where groove going to start. So I am going to select this plane. See here. Now we have to select the age from which material going to remove. So I am going to select this internal. Look, you will see the preview. Now lip section also activated. Now select lip and see upper part will be visible. Now similar thing we are going to do. Lip going to start from this face. So I am going to select this face. Now age we have to select. So I am going to select this internal age which is going to add material. Now come down. Now here we have to put the dimension for lip and groove. See. Now. Now look this A dimension. This is the uh, groove width. So this is 1 millimeter. Uh, this thickness 2 millimeter. So 1 millimeter is suitable. Then this is the gap between lip and groove B so I am going to keep 0 even though if you want to keep something you can keep angle 3 degree and D is the upper gap between lip and groove now here lip height now lip height is shown 2 millimeter if you want to reduce this you can do it let's say 1.5 ok now angle and everything same this one we will keep as it is say ok look how the gap created now it, now here we have lip and groove sef, s, different features you can edit any one right click edit feature now if you see at the bottom maintain existing wall face ok now see this wall going to be straight again right click edit feature 0 uh, keep existing even if you want to put a gap so let's say here I am going to put a gap 0 0.2 and here also I am going to put a gap 0 0.2 ok now look there is a gap see let's say front plane look there is a gap edit feature and uh, make this gap 0 0 B also keep 0 you will see in preview it is going to be 0 and height there is also you can create one more gap ok so this is how you can add cut a groove in one part add lifts on other part with the help of fastening feature lip and groove don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.